Ku Tigers will go on to set number three after tying it up 1-1. I mean, there's a lot on the line for the reputation uh, on the Tigers' side here. And we will have to see Kuro play very passively early, especially if there's a lane yeah. swap. Takes the ward out as well before it can quite close. Oh, okay. uh oh, Luna's gonna get caught. He can't magical journey out here. And that's a quick first blood for Prey. Yeah, that was it's very impressive because Maokai is known to have a lot of sustain with his passive. And look at, <laughs> look at all these tunnels giving him that mobility, but there is a Destiny Gate coming into Smev. He does flash away from the gold card. There's still a flash and the kick backwards onto Smev. They get a lot of damage with the follow through from Lee Sin and Eve. Like the emphasis Samsung has on gold right now first over the Dragons. Oh, and there's a gold card onto Kuro and he's actually gonna get stunned on the wall by Luna. His teleport coming in just to extend the time from the turret aggro there. It's a nice start onto the dragon. Now is gonna try to take down this tier two, and then he can still join up with the teleport, and there Arnold. is the temper fake coming in. Kuro's also been locked up. It's at 2,700 health. The teleport is here. Now Hojin gets the dragon. Gorilla goes in very deep and pushes Crown back into the enemy team. There is the Zonia, so it's been completed. Some burst coming in from Fury, but Smep picks up one kill. Fury actually flashing forward for a kill, but he's gonna get caught. As Kuro jumps through for another kill, Eve's gonna get knocked up by the Arctic Assault, and Kube has a double kill himself, but he just can't catch up to this Kassadin. Will be able to Rift walk away one more time, and now Kube has to escape from a tree and a Poro, and he'll be able to. Goes to show the power of this new item, and Kube too has so many tunnels because of all the CDR that he has. Yeah, they're just everywhere. And there's a Temper Fate going in for a dive, and there's a gold card onto Prey. Can they get the stun? He gets it, and Crown picks up the kill. Fury's gonna be able to get right out of tower range, and then Magical Journey out. That leaves Crown all alone after the Zonias. Doesn't look. Oh, nice stun from Luna, giving Crown time to jump through the Magical Journey. Kube also showing up first to make sure that his team has a retreat. And they're just still poking out at him. And we do see a Destiny Gate onto Hojin. Uh, Crown is caught a little bit. He's going to have to be careful. But we do have Fury putting on some nice poke from the side. Luna gets caught, though. And that's going to be the end of that. Looks Good like Crown can try to make that happen for himself. He's trying to wait for Voice Fury. Oh, he's actually doing a ton of damage onto Kuro, chasing him out. But eventually, he will go down. So, but they took the inhibitor out. Now, Dragon. But we are at least able to keep eyes on that for the moment, even though if all the great Hojin is going to face check this. Yeah, well, he saw Luna out there, but Hojin's going to get kicked backwards. He takes a lot of damage. There's a calling, but Crown is in his zone. He stays his prey, still gets the kill as Kube shows up. Kube's going to kill. Uh, keep on praying. He almost gets the kill, but he'll have to back out. Very tanky. There's still poke coming up. Across the wall from Fury, and Eve is still alive. There's the magical journey. As Kube goes, he tunnels out. He gets a hit on Takuro to tell him to back off. And there's a Righteous Glory coming in, but look at the damage onto the Nexus turrets. Can they get another kill? They can. So a two to one kill score in favor of Ku Oh, actually, they will get the dive onto Fury Fury, getting they a little have too to cheeky. They get here. The inhibitor and try to hold it off. Now there is Tempered Fate too. Luna could try to make this really not worth it for the Tigers. And we're gonna see it. There's the Stasis coming in. Buys a lot of time. Can Eve try to get a steal? They don't want to commit too much to Crown and Kuve might actually just go for the finish of the game. If Samson can keep them at bay, Eve is going to sacrifice himself. And Smeb, three members will be able to can't board back this. home. You can't finish this, especially without that Lich Bane. Now we're really seeing that not pay off. And Samsung actually taking a lot of hits here as Luna trying to make an escape. They do get the second Nexus turret, and Prey might go down. He does go down, so he's going to lose that Baron buff, but they will catch Kube eventually. So an ace for the Ku Tigers, but Samsung still fight with all the extra damage. Uh-oh, uh -oh, here's a teleport coming in. The Ku Tigers really trying to force his flight as the two split pushes are in the same lane. Kuro does get stunned, Crown ghosting away. Smep coming in with the Righteous Glory, he gets the slow onto Kube. Kube gets his own slow. There's a knockback from Gorilla, a little bit mischained from Gorilla and Here Smep. Here we go, back door. And Fury showing up. Now Prey is there, they can't stop the port back though. Eve there with Fury. I don't think Samsung can actually secure this inhibitor as Hojin shows up. Prey's gonna do a lot of damage. There's a magical journey. Fury gonna immediately QSS. QSS. Wow. Wow. Meanwhile, Crown is still caught. They committed okay. a little too much to prevent the port back, and Kube's still doing a lot of damage onto Kuro. I mean, Kuro's the main damage source out of these three. Wow, they saved the inhibitor too, so this is absolutely huge. Kube gonna take some percent damage from Smeb on that twisted advance. 
trying to get this kill. It's so oh, he wants dangerous. it. Ah, oh, but Kuro's gonna be able to rip one back in. And Luna, oh wow, what a temper fate to keep Hochin wow. at bay. Keeps him alive, but Ku overwhelmingly wins that and outplays him on the map. That was for Kuve. Oh, Crown's being chased out by Hojin, and there's an ultimate onto Crown and the Arctic Assault. Kuro coming in. Crown does have to flash and ghost out. But meanwhile, another turret goes down in favor of the Tigers. These turrets are going to fall with the five dragon stacks. Yeah, Hojin has that banner of command himself, too, using Samsung's own medicine against them as they get an inhibitor here in mid. And the Tigers, they don't care about the other ones. He can just push through right now. There's a Righteous Glory from Smeb, and he's just going to go ahead, stand in the front line with Gorilla. They're just tanking all the damage coming in from Samsung. Samsung can't do anything, but they need to put up one last fight as Kuve goes, he tries to get the pick on to Prey. Can he get him? Prey is fighting so hard for his life as Kuro also gets stunned outside of the fight. Gorilla trying to keep everyone else at bay. And there's the temper fate, but Ku Tigers will finish off the Nexus. Well, that was a very exciting game, Chobra. And the Ku Tigers had an extremely good play to dig themselves out of that hole. But that is a hole that they should have never been in the first place. Samsung yeah. did a good job with the split pushing, but the Tigers not reacting well to...